payment protection program, obviously very topical right now, a lot of companies uh, in difficulty and the government have come up with some great programs, right? Yeah, they really have. And while some, you know, I, I'm not a firm believer that government has all of the answers, but in this case, the PPP loan, while it's not perfect, has actually done a good job in providing very needed cash flow right. to business owners. And as you may know, there is now an opportunity for a second draw yes. for a PPP loan. So mm -hmm. if, you've, if you're a company that's taken a PPP loan already, and have applied for forgiveness, um, you may qualify for a second PPP loan. The big qualifier for the second loan is that you must be able to demonstrate that you have suffered a 25% or more reduction right. in revenue for That's any key. 2020 quarter versus 2019 quarter. Right. And it's really simple. I mean, if in fact you qualify, um, the application couldn't be easier. The banks have usually populated the portal for yeah. you to do this. And so all you might be asked to do is upload some QuickBooks uh, statements, you know, supporting the quarter where you have the 25% reduction, but yeah. then you have the opportunity to get an equal second draw on PPP. And again, we think that forgiveness will be uh, available, if not more right. immediate. There are actually other benefits to right now under the CARES Act that we're working with our clients on. So first of all, let me put in a pitch for B2B CFO. Please. We have been helping owners across the United States qualify for the loans and to achieve forgiveness. Right. And I think the last account we had was just under a um, million dollars total of PPP loans to a variety of different uh, clients. That's um, impressive. Yeah, and, and we're happy to help them because this program does provide needed cash flow and yep. it has been effective to keep the doors open for companies. It really has. And, and again, first round, I think there was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of confusion. Second round, I think people get it a bit better. The communication's been better, but there are some additional strings to it. Not everybody can benefit from it. Right. But it certainly is from what I've seen, it's benefited a lot of our clients. And you know, it's been that additional boost that they've needed to get through these difficult times. Good news is it works alongside what we do here as well at Eagle. You know, That's we right. can get the subordination from the SBA. And obviously, if you get the forgiveness, or if you even if you choose to carry on with it, maybe you can't, you know, you spent the money on some stuff that you can't actually qualify for the forgiveness. It's a 1% loan at the end of the day, good cheap money. Um, and factoring will work alongside it. We can get the subordination from the SBA. So yeah, we've encouraged it. People have looked at it, it's helped a lot of folk out. Um, remains to be seen how long and whether there's any more, you know, things are very fluid, but hopefully the economy starts to turn around and, you know, maybe we don't need another round, but we'll be watching it very closely. But it's great to know that you guys can help people get those funds. Yeah, we do. And of course, besides PPP loans, one of the areas of expertise that we work with our clients all the time is capital formation. So, right. you know, putting together what you need for an effective bank packaging loan or factoring. Yep. Uh, either way, we're in the business of helping uh, business, business owners not only preserve cash flow, but get the capital that they need yep. so that they can move forward. Wonderful. Well, like I've said, you guys do a great job and we appreciate you because again, you've helped us with some clients as well in terms of looking after them and helping with their growth plan. Well, that's about all we have time for today on The Money Factor. Thank you, Steve, as always, for coming in. Uh, if your business is not prepared for growth or is having some cash flow difficulty, where can they reach you, Steve, for some advice? Uh, well, our national website is uh, b2bcfo.com. That's spelled B, the number two, bcfo.com. And uh, yeah, we're all about strategic advisory services for the business owner to move forward. So if you are encountering difficulty, please look us up and give us a call. Thank you very much. Again, I'm Ian Barley, CEO of Eagle Business Credit. Thanks for watching The Money Factor.